Hi there. Um, and I had a question. David Menzies, Rebel News. Do you know what Omar Algabra did with all those toy trucks that were donated last December? Uh, did they end up under any Christmas trees or did he just trash them? Can you at least tell me how many toy trucks came in? Was it in the dozens, the hundreds, the thousands? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Mississauga, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing outside the constituency office for Omar Algabra, the Liberal MP for Mississauga Centre. We're here for another matter. We just wanted to find out if he is still on record as supporting Hamas and Hezbollah. He has made those pronouncements in the past. So far, no one has come to the door. But I was overwhelmed with a feeling of deja vu, and I know why. My cameraman Maurizio and I, we were here some 10 months ago um, essentially, it was to get an update and make a donation on Trucker Convoy 2.0. And by Trucker Convoy 2.0, I don't mean real big 18-wheelers uh, doing a, a demonstration in front of the legislature or anything like that. But rather, you might recall that a lady by the name of Brigitte Belton urged freedom-minded patriots to send toy trucks to Mr. Algabra's office. In any event, we came here to get an update from Mr. Algabra how the toy drive was going. And what's more, we even brought a little toy truck too. Well, you know, folks, to be honest, it's been so busy at Rebel News covering all the events that are happening these days that I never got a chance to do an update to that story. And the update is simply this. How many trucks came in? Were there hundreds of trucks, thousands of trucks? And more importantly, what did Omar El Gabra do with them? Did he give them to a toy drive, Santa-like, or like a Grinch, did he keep them himself or just toss them in the dumpster? Anyways, um, the door is locked. No one lets us in anymore, of course. I guess they learned their lesson from last December. And um, why don't we just ring the bell and find out if uh, they can provide an answer over the loudspeaker. Hello? Usually a light comes on. Uh, that's when you know you've, ah, there we are. Hi there, um, and I had a question, David Menzies, Rebel News. Do you know what Omar Algabra did with all those toy trucks that were donated last December? Uh, did they end up under any Christmas trees or did he just trash them? Can you at least tell me how many toy trucks came in? Was it in the dozens, the hundreds, the thousands? Are the toy trucks still in the office, perhaps? Well, there you go, folks. More liberal transparency, the type of which we've come to uh, know and uh, not appreciate these last eight years. So um, I got to tell you, uh, it remains a mystery. If you donated a truck to this office last year, folks, we still don't know where they ended up. And uh, it's sad, though, because uh, I think Omar El Gabra could have made a... Uh, a publicity event out of this. Uh, his nickname is the Hobgoblin. I think a Hobgoblin is closely related to an elf. He could have dressed up as Santa's elf. He could have gone down uh, the Mississauga main roads, handing out toy trucks to one and all, you know, kind of like uh, the Grinch did at the climax of uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. But we'll never know, will we? We'll never know if Omar El Gabra did anything with those toy trucks. My money? They ended up in a dumpster. But you know what, folks? As they say, it's the thought that counts. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.
As the death toll continues to rise in Israel, are you as disgusted as we are in terms of that barbaric act of terrorism that happened last Saturday? If you are, folks, please go to canadastandswithisrael.com. That's canadastandswithisrael.com. That's our newest petition. Please take time to go to that website and put your name on that petition.